Hello everyone, and welcome back to my complete career run through in Kerbal Space Program 0.23, where in this mission I intend to bring my Kerbals to Elu, the most far flung planet in the Kerbal system. It's not only far flung, it also has a healthy inclination to it and a healthy eccentricity. So it's not the easiest planet to get to. However, before I do anything else, I need to deal with the fact that I left the Lambda 4 in a uh, highly eccentric and inclined orbit of its own. And so let's jump to it and see what it can do to fix its orbit before we send any subsequent missions up to it. Alright, so let's fly. Alright, so here's our Lambda 4 tug with Bob Kerman on board. And it only has a little bit of liquid fuel and oxidizer. Let's see what it could do with that. Um, let's prioritize bringing the orbit in, I'd say. Or maybe not. Maybe the inclination is more important. Uh, so let's set target to the moon to see what sort of inclination we have. And how much would it take to fix that? Because we really don't want the craft coming up to it to have to match this inclination anyway. Okay, about 400-ish. We can do even better than that. Uh, let's get it to within one. Well, let's just burn off all the fuel in it and see if that will get us this new inclination. Let's turn off RCS for now. We might need it later. Okay, so in three minutes. I considered using a different setup for ELU, but I actually really want to try and see if uh, which one is harder to get to, ELU or MOHO. I think it is MOHO. And I think what we've got here should be enough to get us to Elu. So that's my hope. And if that's the case, then uh, then, I, and the reason I believe that is because the plane change should be easier because it's further away from Kerbal, uh, the sun, and. Also, the aero braking should be easier because once we get to Elu, our speed will be much slower. Getting into Moho, the speed is much faster because it's closer to Kerbal. But uh, Elu is so far out there that we'll pro probably be practically going like, how how much how fast are we going? Let me just quickly see. Uh, we'd be going about 3,700 meters per second, uh, and so all we have to do is fix how much we are different from Elu at that point, and we can't be that different from Elu at that point, whereas Moho is going at 18,000, so much more opportunity to be different from Moho than it is to be different from Elu. But we'll see how much that is. This is somewhat of an experiment. Uh, I'm confident that uh, even if we can't land on Elu, we'll be able to get bring them back. But I do intend to land them on Elu. I do think that we have the margin for it. But we have to fill this up. And now it's pretty much going to be empty. So it's almost an orange tank. Alright, that should be good enough. Let's see. Yeah, uh, let's get rid of the maneuver node. And... 0.9. Alright, so let's get back to the VAB and see what adjustments we need to make to our Lambda 5 in order to allow it to get the necessary fuel up. So I'm not sure whether this launcher can actually bear it. But I think all I'm going to do is slip one of these tanks in here. I think it should be able to handle that. But it's tough to say. I don't really want to mess with it. It's a pretty good construct right now. And 
And I, I think if I just have that there, 4.5 extra tons shouldn't be overbearing for it. Hmm. I haven't ever used the mainsails in this series, have I? I've been, uh, been remarkably good about not using them for some reason. Um, so, could always asparagus the things, you know, uh, instead of having all the fuel feed into the center, just have uh, these feed into those and release them uh, two at a time. But I don't think that's really necessary. Yeah, let's try it out. Uh, I'll build a new launcher if I need to. I don't think I need to in this case. Alright, let's take it out to launch pad. Oh, uh, we need to figure out who's going to be landing on Elu, right? Um, Durlin. Durlin. Let's go with Durlin this time. Alright, let's go out to the launch pad. Alright, another night launch. They seem to like to give me these, but actually, maybe I should time it. Well, like, it's not really easy to time it to intercept the Lambda 4. I mean, we are at the right inclination, so that's the only thing. Otherwise, having it right above us probably wouldn't help that much. Um, so, yeah. Well. Alright, let me time warp. At least we'll check the stability of this thing. Okay. Physics. Physics loads. F3 is clear. Alright. Uh, throttle up. Turlin looks uninterested. Alright, so let's rendezvous with the Lambda 4 in orbit and try and get to Elu. Okay, so I think I can try and plot for some sort of intercept. Okay, actually we're totally far off, but let's let's uh, come up with a tangency on this side, and that'll help out later. So that's the launch stage expended. And we have to throttle down because the next stage is reversed, right? So let's uh, back away from the launch stage. And flip around. We're still pretty heavy here. And I'm going to say control from here. Actually, you know what, I, I'll just be satisfied making orbit at this point. I won't, uh, let's, let's find a rendezvous point. Let's say here. And let's take it around. Wow, that's a lot of Delta V. Hmm. Well, it looks like I won't be delivering as much fuel as I wanted to. We're probably gonna take quite a long time to burn, so... So yeah, let's start now. 
Whoa, why are we... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, we are tending to one side without me being able to control that. Um, is that because of the solar panel? How is it creating drag though? Yeah, there's a persistent twist to one side. Okay, let me retract that solar panel. Maybe it's what's doing it. I don't know why though. Uh, if we have to use RCS just to stabilize ourselves, that wouldn't be good. Alright, now we're fine. Weird. Oh, is it maybe because the our, the solar panel is right in the way of this? What? I can't imagine. That's never been a big thing before. Huh. Okay, so we're approaching it, and let's see. Uh, we've basically drained that extra tank I put on and more. So this has not been a good thing. We are not in a healthy situation as far as fuel is concerned. At least uh, compared to what we were supposed to be transferring to Lambda 4. Okay, and... Oh, okay, that's as close as that's gonna get. Alright, so... Hmm... Problem is, uh, this thing doesn't really have much ability to speed up or slow down. So maybe I should do a small burn over there to fix that a bit. Let's see, well that will make it worse. Actually, maybe I want the distance if I need to slow down. Distance will be fine. It's the... Uh, because that will give me more time. Alright, so let's time warp and meet up with Lambda 4. If I was too close, then it would give me less time, so... Okay, wow, 200? <sighs> this is tough. You know what, I'm gonna have Lambda 4 do it, maybe. This, this one just doesn't have the efficiency. Okay, well, we are too far. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, come on. Switch to Lambda 4, darn it. Darn it. It's too far away. Switch to... Okay, uh, Lambda 5, target, okay. Let's see how much we can uh, change with this one. Because it's a more, it's got more efficient engines and everything. But Lambda, four, four, uh, Lambda 5 is already getting away. Alright. We were zoomed out quite a lot. Uh, let's see. Because the entire craft is lighter and it's not carrying as much fuel, you can see that it's uh, much more efficient even with this tiny little bit of fuel left. So I guess maybe it'll be do doing all the docking. Let's see. Because our orbits are still different, we're gonna be accelerating with respect to each other. That's gonna complicate things. 9.4 kilometers is very far away when it comes to this sort of thing. Okay. And we'll time warp all the way over. Well, now you can see why this one is the tug and the other one is completely useless. That's those nuclear rockets. Don't underestimate them. Let's 
too bad they're so heavy to get into orbit. Okay, let me switch to Lambda 5. Too many Lambdas. And let's see now, where could... Come on, where's my target? Alright, let's do it to promote here. Set as target. Oh. Anyway. I just saw it. There it is. us off. Aha! All right, all connected up. And uh, as before, let me uh, decouple the <coughs> decouple the lander and switch to lander. Have it maneuver forward a bit, just a little bit. Open its shield. Turn it not that not around that way. More around this way. Okay, and then the trickier bit because it's so heavy. Turning this around. Without knocking the lander. Okay, set that as target. Let's try and hold this stable while we have the lander do the docking. Okay, all assembled. Let's see how much fuel we actually can fill up now. This is going to be uh, probably a little bit disappointing. Okay, so all the fuel has been transferred. Let me dump this tank. I did transfer the mod propellant as well. We don't need to control that tank now. Let's maneuver away from it. And see... Yeah, look at that. We've got quite a lot of uh, missing fuel here. I don't feel comfortable sending us over to Elu with uh, so much fuel... So much... So much emptiness, really. I want to fill this stuff up. So let's let's go back to the VAB and see how we can get some additional fuel up to this thing. You know what? It just occurred to me that any anything that would bring more fuel up to it would still need to carry a Kerbal. Hmm. That does very much complicate things. Well... That could be a possibility. Okay, so here's the thing. We eventually need to rescue Jeb, right? And if we need to rescue Jeb, we'll need to get a multi-person pod down to the surface of Duna to rescue him. Now, I want to build that as a separate mission. Let me do some calculations and see if we can get to Elu with the fuel we already have up there. Okay, yeah, so I figured out that there's no way we could get to to Elu with the fuel that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be building the craft that will save Jeb Kerman. And maybe I shouldn't use maybe I should use a little bit more of a lander canish thing. No, uh, this will be the re-entry pod. Just the re-entry pod. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. 
This will be like the command module on the Apollo, but it won't land on Duna. And it'll carry, it'll help us carry our fuel to the facility, so... Okay, let me just make sure it's properly parachuted. In fact, uh... Yeah, okay. This is gonna be a little bit complicated, folks. Uh, so, what we're doing is, let's say we bring this command module back home. Uh, with our three Kerbals, right? There's going to be Bob in the tug, Jeb in the on uh, from the surface of Duna, and also some other unspecified Kerbal who will be doing the rescuing of Jeb. Uh, then we need a fuel tank like this. Uh, this will be for the trip home. And at the other end of the fuel tank, we need a decoupler because we're going to be attaching this to something else. Come on, come on, think, think, think. Okay, decoupler, right. Uh, to the tug, for instance. Okay, then we need... These are not too bad. And as far as radial engines go, we don't have too much of a choice. That's really annoying. Hmm. Maybe we should use a nose-mounted decoupler, uh, yeah, docking port, and then side-mounted parachutes, like we've been doing. Does that look like it will stay upright? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. So it'll decouple, uh, and this will be the transit stage. It'll need some some ability to maneuver around. Let's say we put that up top, actually. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, no, no, no. Um... Uh, Actually, putting them up here isn't a bad idea. Okay, and then we can put a transit engine, like the Poodle. Okay, now besides this, which will bring our Kerbals back, and actually let me just <laughs> quickly be sure that this is enough to bring our Kerbals back. Time to get the calculator out and see. Yeah, yeah, this is more than enough. Okay, so that's satisfying. So this will be our return craft. Now another decoupler. And we need to get some extra fuel to our to our unfortunate little station there. Not station, uh, tug. And we probably need some good engines this time. So let, let's use these after all. Let's see. This should be relatively similar to the size of the rocket we were using before. Instead of having these connect to the main stack, I'm going to have them connect up. Looks weird, but alright. Now... I want to add some more RCS. Oh, and uh, people like lights, so let's put lights. Don't know how that'll work, but... Probably not too badly. Okay, I think this should be able to do it. Alright, so we'll call this Lambda 6. 
Have I forgotten anything? Parachutes are there. Ability to return looks good. Yeah, all I have to do is pick a Kerbal. We definitely don't want it full because we're going to be filling the rest of this up. I guess it'll be Bill. Yeah, that makes sense. It'll be uh, Jeb, Bob, and Bill then. Alright. Uh, fixing staging. Very important. Um, these do not all go together. What's going on here? Those go. That one goes. This, these, oh, okay, so these are the outsides. Yeah, okay, so those are actually supposed to be in here. These are not. These are supposed to go somewhere up here. This decoupler is there. That's not right. This decoupler goes with that one. Wow, it managed to mess everything up. This decoupler does not need to go at the same time as the parachutes. That's not necessary. Do I have enough parachutes? Seems like three would be enough. Better to be safe though. I guess we'll go with four part symmetry as after all. Uh, blocks the window a bit. But uh, parachutes before windows. And we have to fix this. Alright, I think we're ready to go now. Yep, alright, let's take it out to the launch pad and see how it does. Nighttime. It's always nighttime. This this control tower, this launch clamp is wigging out for some reason. Alright, well, um, well, uh, the launch shouldn't be a big deal, so let's just get it over with. Let's uh, get all that, and instead of time warping, because I'm worried what that launch clamp is going to do if I time warp, let's just launch. And, oh, electric charge might be a thing. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's go back to the VAB. Almost forgot to deal with the electric charge situation with the lights. See, that's why I never put lights, because I would always forget the electric charge. Token panel here. And then standard array of four of those down there. Action group it. Alright, now that leaves crew again, save and yep, launch.